and forest people. Time to think. Name three things made out of bamboo. Name three plants that have medicinal value. A forest is an area where a large number of trees grow on their own. Forests are an important natural resource. Besides trees, it also has smaller plants like shrubs, herbs, etc. Many types of wildflowers grow on their own in the forest. Due to a wide range of climatic conditions, India has different types of forests at different places. They are evergreen forests, monsoon forests, tidal forests, sundarbans, mountain forests, desert forests. Importance of Forests Forests play a very important role in our lives. Trees convert sunlight into food and become the main source of food for living things. Trees provide shelter to a variety of animals and birds. Trees take in carbon dioxide from the air and release oxygen which animals and human beings breathe in. Thus, trees purify and cool the air. Trees help in preventing soil erosion. The roots of the trees hold the soil firmly and prevent it from getting washed away by rainwater. We get many useful things from the trees in a forest such as pulp for paper, wood, fruits, medicines and raw materials for many other products that are produced in factories. Forests help to increase rainfall also. Forest soil soaks up the rainwater and makes groundwater available. Forests also help check floods and tidal waters by acting as a natural barrier. People living in forests Earlier people used to live in forests. Over a period of time, forests were cleared and villages and towns were settled up. People moved from the forests to villages and cities. But even today, many people live in or near forests and use forests products for their survival. Such people are called tribal people or Adivasis. Jarva, Kol, Bheel, Munda, Gonda, Santhals, Khalsis are some of the Adivasi groups living in different forests of India. In India, tribal people live in many regions like Madhya Pradesh, Jharkhand, Chhattisgarh, Odisha, West Bengal, Khasi and Jaintia hills and have different languages and cultures. Their life is closely associated with forests as they depend on forests products for food, fuel and shelter. Women gather various forest products such as tendu leaves, fruits, berries, bamboo, seeds, gum, mahua and medicinal plants. From the raw materials collected from the jungles, these women make baskets, mats, brooms, etc. They also make ropes from vines and bark of trees and bows and arrows from timber. Tribal women make beautiful jewelry using grass fibers, seeds and shells. Sometimes tribal men and women walk long distances to sell various forest products they collect. Some tribal people also grow crops. Tribal people depend on the forests for their livelihood. Many of them practice shifting cultivation. This means that they cultivate a particular space of land in the forest for two or three years. Then the land becomes less fertile and the tribe moves to a new land. The practice of cultivation is also called June cultivation. Deforestation and its effects 
the rapid cutting of forests is called deforestation today forests are disappearing very fast as people are cutting away huge number of trees large companies and contractors cut down large forests areas out of sheer greed for money deforestation can have a negative impact on the environment plants and animals that live in the forests are destroyed and some species become extinct the adivasis of the area lose their source of food fuel construction materials and grazing plants for their cattle deforestation also drives climate change deforestation leads to soil erosion and coastal flooding deforestation is a contributor to global warming deforestation causes carbon dioxide to linger in the atmosphere sacred groves in tribal culture some patches of forests are worshiped these patches are called sacred groves they are areas in the forest which contain trees that are on the verge of extinction felling of trees is strictly prohibited in these groves Himachal Pradesh has the largest number of sacred groves. They are called Dev Bhumi there. Similarly, they are called Dev Kot in Madhya Pradesh, Oran in Rajasthan, and Dev Rai in Maharashtra. Chipko movement. The incident inspired the famous Chipko movement, in which people hug a tree to protect it from being cut down. A year after the Khejarli incident. A cunning contractor sent woodcutters to a village called Rani in Uttaranchal with orders to cut down 2500 trees. At that time, the men of the village had all gone out for work, but the women came out and hugged the trees and refused to let go till the woodcutters went away. They were inspired and led by an old woman named Gauri Devi by and by the chipko movement became famous all over the uttaranchal it inspired many other movements all over the country like the narmada bachao andolan apiko movement and chilka lake agitation in odisha van mahotsav van mahotsav is a week long festival of tree plantation It is organized every year in the month of July all across the country. Millions of people participate in Van Mahotsav and lakhs of trees are planted every year. The Van Mahotsav was started to increase the area under forest cover. It was initiated in 1950 by K M Munshi who was a noted environmentalist and also the agriculture minister at that time chapter 14 disaster management time to think list various names of natural disasters disasters are major accidents or events that lead to huge loss of life and property and create emergency situations Disasters can be natural or man-made. Earthquake, tsunami, flood, cyclone, volcanic eruption, landslide and drought caused by nature are called natural disasters. War, terrorist attacks in some cases, forest fires caused by human activities are called man-made disasters. Natural disasters Natural disasters can happen at any time and at any place. Generally, such disasters are very sudden and it is not really possible to prevent them or have enough time in hand to prepare well against them. Within a few minutes, many people lose their homes and all their belongings and even lives too. Earthquake. The word quake means vibration. So, Earthquake means the shaking of the earth. Earthquakes range from mild to severe. The cities of Uttarkashi and Jabalpur in India 
have suffered severe earthquakes in the past. During the earthquake, buildings get cracks, electric poles are uprooted, and transportation and communication is disrupted. The intensity and magnitude of the quake is measured on Richter scale. The instruments used to measure the strength of a quake is called seismograph. Precautions during earthquake As soon as you feel the tremors, go out of the house to an open area. If you cannot go out of the house, then get under a heavy table or desk. Do not stand near windows, bookcases or near tall, heavy furniture. Do not use the lift. If you are outside during an earthquake, move away from buildings, street lights and power lines. Drought Drought is a period when there is not enough water or rainfall. It results in severe water shortage. Ponds and lakes dry up. Huge cracks develop in soil. Due to lack of water for irrigation, crops get destroyed and usually famines break out. People do not have enough food to eat. Their animals starve too as they depend mostly on farm waste. So, there is widespread starvation and epidemic causing death. Cyclone A tornado is called a cyclone in India. It is a strong and stormy wind that hits the coasts of India. Sometimes storms originate in the sea caused by winds moving very fast in a circular motion. When the cyclone storm struck the coast, they cause huge damage to life and property. Cyclones can change direction suddenly, which makes it very difficult for meteorologists to forecast what will happen next. Flood a flood is a natural disaster that is common in the Indo-Gangetic Plains in India. Flood causes damage to life and property. It damages crops. Due to lack of safe drinking water and unhygienic conditions, diseases like cholera and typhoid often break out, leading to further loss of lives. These are waterborne diseases caused due to contaminated water. Precautions during floods Do not drink unsafe water or eat food items exposed to flood waters. Shut off gas cylinders. Put off the main electric switch to avoid electrocution. It is dangerous to move or drive through flood waters because the water can be deeper than it appears. Wear gloves and boots to avoid skin contact with flood waters. Tsunami A tsunami is caused by an underwater volcanic eruption or earthquake. The waves that are more than 30 meters high hit the coastal areas and destroy everything. Japan is prone to this devastating disaster. During a disaster, one should move to the highest areas in the region. Volcanic Eruption A volcano is a hip with vent. The vent reaches down to the hot, molten rock beneath the surface of the earth. During a volcanic eruption, the molten rock is forced up the vent as lava. It flows out very fast and burns everything that comes in its way. It causes great damage to property and life. Landslide When a massive rock breaks off and slides down a hillside or mountainside, it is called a landslide. It destroys everything that comes in its path. Man-made causes of natural calamities Cutting of trees, global warming, failure of grains, Overgrazing and urbanization like building of houses and roads on hills are some man-made causes of natural calamities. Sport and Health The armed force and agencies like WHO, World Health Organization 
and Red Cross play a major role in supporting and helping the people in refugee camps. They support them by providing money, food items, clothes, blankets, medicines and other such essential things. Red Cross Society provides the affected people with all types of medical help. Many doctors and nurses look after the sick, wounded and the affected people. Radio, television and newspapers play an important role in helping the affected people. In their special reports and bulletins, they convey the messages of the affected people to their relatives living elsewhere. The telephone department provides emergency phone numbers and helpline services at relief camps during such times of crisis. People in India contribute generously to the Prime Minister's Relief Fund, PMO Fund, to provide help to the people who suffer.